Now, I want to talk about this recent story involving the late Juice World, Ali Lati, Lodi, not sure how you say it, and another person. First of all, for anyone who's not familiar with Ali Lati, she was the girlfriend of the late Jared Higgins, professionally known as Juice World. She's 29 years old and is out of Jersey. Ali and Jared started dating sometime in 2018 after Ali slid into his DMs. Ali started that conversation by saying, good music. Keep it up, kid. A few months later, while Juice World was on tour, he took the initiative, hit her up, and uh, they ended up meeting for the first time in Rhode Island. Allie and Jared spent the next four days together, and uh, it was the start of a love story, if you will. Now, that's how Allie and Jared met. As for how their relationship progressed, couldn't tell you too much about that since I generally speak and don't pay too much attention to these artists' personal relationships. One thing I do know, however, is that Juice World was uh, clearly in love with Allie. He professed his love for her publicly on numerous occasions, all the way from start to, you know, the unfortunate end, which was his passing. As for this recent story right here, this is a highly requested video. Gotten a lot of messages about this, so that's why I'm talking about this. The other day, a little situation went down. Actually starts with Allie herself. Apparently, and I didn't know this by the way, but you know, apparently Allie has a new boyfriend. His name is uh, Carter something. He's a young entrepreneur who runs, I believe it was a social media agency. But her boyfriend did something the other day that pissed off a lot of Juice Wolf fans. I came across this on Twitter. But you know, what happened is this. Allie's new boyfriend, who's a uh, allegedly 18 years old, posted an Instagram story sometime back where he was wearing a watch that Jared gifted Ali when he was alive. Now, he was kind of flexing the watch on this Instagram story. If you're looking at the screen, as you can see, there's the watch. He did this while the song Burn, which is a record by Juice World, was playing in the background. So essentially, he was wearing this watch that Juice gave Ali as a gift on his Instagram story while playing a Juice World record. So a lot of the backlash from the situation is obviously going towards the boyfriend, but most of it is actually directed at Ali. Juice World fans are pissed off to put it mildly. The fans obviously find this disrespectful, which you know I do to some extent. We'll get to that in a second. Ali hasn't really been the fan base's favorite person since they started dating anyway, so on top of this, she's definitely seeing the wrath of Juice fans. Now to my personal take of this entire situation, I want to start off by saying this. We're approaching the third anniversary of Juice World's passing. I hope people realize that this conversation that we're having right now, it's completely irrelevant relevant. This is why I say that. First of all, this little story right here does not negatively reflect on Juice World's legacy, and I think that's important to bring up for this reason. One reason why fans are so protective of an artist, you know, who they love, who's deceased, is because that artist can't speak up or act on the behalf of themselves because they're gone, right? A good example is all the music XXXTentacion's estate has been releasing, which has in fact negatively contributed to X's legacy. A lot of us didn't like what they did with X's music because they were dropping all this half-assed music which didn't really sound like X. Obviously a lot of it was a money grab, I think that's undeniable. As for Juice World, this is a completely different conversation we're having. We're talking about a story where his former girlfriend's boyfriend, right, he wore the watch Juice gifted her while playing Juice World's song on his story. Personally, I do think that is distasteful, and I'm curious as to why he would feel like it is an appropriate thing to do, given the fact that Juice isn't here today, right? And he was the one who gave the watch to Ali. And in the fashion that he did it, it kind of looked like he was flexing it, which that's never a good look. You don't ever want to do something that could get misconstrued as you disrespecting a legend because Juice was a legend to this young generation. But one thing that does pop up in my mind is, you know, the guy could actually be a fan, believe it or not. I mean, he's apparently 18 years old. When Juice died, he had to be 15 going on 16. So maybe that Instagram story he posted was a flex of some sort that actually maybe came from a good place. I don't know. Just because he's dating Ali Lottie, that doesn't automatically put a malicious intent stamp on what he posted. This is me speculating. I don't know if that's why he did it. Like I said, though, I do think it is distasteful given the fact that when you post something like this, considering the fact that Juice World is is gone and considering how it looks from the outside you know you post this ig story and you're dating his former girl that could be taken as disrespect and i see why the fans are upset a thousand percent personally however i'm not gonna be too upset at this because i just feel like there's more important things to pay attention to as it relates to juice world i mean just the other day guys we had a very important conversation about why juice world was misunderstood and those are the kinds of conversations we should entertain and if you haven't seen that short clip by the way i'll leave a link to it in the description below but i think that's the kind of conversations we should be having because juice world's former girl's boyfriend posted an instagram story where he was wearing a watch juice gave her that's not something i feel like we should entertain it has nothing to do with his legacy it also doesn't affect it negatively one genuine question I have for all the Juice WRLD fans out there, maybe someone could answer this, right? Why are Juice WRLD fans always paying so much attention to what Ali Lottie's doing? I mean, why? I mean, why, why are you paying attention to what she's doing anyway? I mean, she was such a small part of what Juice WRLD was about, and sometimes I wonder why fans get so invested in these artists' personal relationships. Again, Ali Lottie was such a small part of what Juice was about, so why are, you know, the fans acting like the stuff that revolves around her directly affects Juice's legacy? Because it doesn't. At the end of the day, she was just a girl that, you know, he was dating 
dating and who's to say that they would have been dating today? Ain't no telling. If Juice was alive today, I mean, he would have been on a completely different level. Who's to say that his relationship as young as Juice was would have lasted throughout all the crazy elevation that Juice would have seen, right? So when I think about Juice World, I don't really think about his girlfriend. I think about the artist Juice World. So with that being the case, why is the fan base always paying attention to what she's doing? I get that people have a lot of things to say about her, which I won't really entertain those conversations today or ever actually because I don't feel like it's relevant to Juice World's legacy. Juice World died almost three years ago. We're literally approaching the third anniversary of the late great Juice World's passing and here we are talking about this? Juice fans, y'all gotta do better. How come the Juice fan base isn't talking about all the great work Carmela Wallace has been doing? Carmela Wallace, for anyone who doesn't know, that's Jared's mother. I really admire all the great work she's been doing. What a great woman. I mean, she lost her son in an extremely tragic fashion and she decided to take that pain and turn that shit into something very positive. Carmela, after the death of her son, Jared, started a foundation called the Live Free 999 Foundation. It's essentially a mental health foundation that supports programs that provide resources that address challenges surrounding mental health. Carmela launched this foundation in order to, first and foremost, on her son, and second of all, make the world a better place by providing resources for people who are struggling with mental health. It's always been really sad how fans constantly entertain the negative conversations but never pay attention to the stuff that actually matters. And Juice World fans, I'm gonna call y'all out for a second. You guys don't talk enough about Carmela Wallace, who's actually the biggest part of the artist that y'all love so much, the person behind Juice World, Jared Higgins. This is the person who you guys should be paying attention to, not Ali, and no disrespect to Ali. I'm sure she would even agree with me because, you know, she's probably tired of Juice World fans being on her case 24-7. Or maybe not, because attention, positive or negative, is at the end of the day, currency. So how about we talk about and focus on Carmela and all the great things she's doing with her foundation? I mean, she's literally out here changing lives, and I think that's honorable considering the fact that shit. She could have let the uh, death of her beloved son crush her, but she didn't. She took that pain and, you know, had the strength to make it into something positive by focusing on honoring her lay son, and in the process is helping thousands of people in the world with her foundation. Well, tell me about that, because a lot of people uh, who were big fans of his used him as an inspiration for them who were also having mental health struggles. So tell me about his mental health struggles. Well, Jared fought with anxiety and depression, um, and he was able to communicate and was in touch with his feelings because uh, throughout high school, he had counseling, so he knew how to express himself. He knew how to... He knew how to communicate, um, you know, what his issues were. And then in turn, he took those things and he shared it with other people and they could relate to what he was going through. So he, he made himself transparent. And in him doing so, he helped other people. Well, I, wa I don't want you to sell yourself short because you say he was able to express those feelings because of the counseling. But obviously you as his mother had a lot to do with that as well. And so shout out to Carmela Wallace. I'm really inspired by the great work she does and, you know, is continuing to do. So Juice World fans, attention. When December 8 comes around, I don't want to see y'all entertain these conversations. Focus on what actually matters. I mean, Juice and Ali, that's a thing of the past. Juice is gone. Ali's living her life. So how about we leave that shit in the past? Sounds good? Okay, let's do that. Anyway, like this video if you enjoyed it. Any thoughts on this um, Juice World? I guess, controversy? Again, this has nothing to do with his legacy. And you know what? Actually, give me your take on the great work Carmela Wallace is doing first and foremost. And then give me your take on this story right here. Anyway, you have a good day, night, meal, finish, finish that shit already. I can see your ass was hungry today because you fucked up that plate. That plate looks clean. Okay, so clean. Looks like this shit just came out of the dishwasher. Did you lick the damn plate with your starving ass? I'm sure you did with your fat ass. Anyway, I'm out.